Hi, I'm Arjun from Wizards.exe. In this video, we are going to go over how to connect your control system together with your Android Fire tablet and your control hub, as well as connect up the expansion hub and the gamepads. We're going to start off with the control hub and the wiring needed there to connect up the expansion hub. So I'm going to clear this off a little bit. Okay. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to plug the expansion hub and the control hub together. We require two wires to do this, a JST 3-pin RS-485 cable as well as an XT30 power extension wire. I'm going to plug these in. For this JST 3-pin wire, make sure to plug it into the port that is labeled RS-485 or the bottom 3-pin port. Do it just like that. The next thing we need to plug in is the XT30 power wire. We're going to plug in this end, the female end. Next, we're going to plug in a power switch. It's always recommended you use a power switch because the connectors of the control hub can wear out often if you continue to plug and unplug the battery. So just use a power switch. We're going to plug in the side that looks like the XT30 connector on the battery into the control hub. Finally, we're going to plug in the battery. Then, just flip the switch. The control hub takes 45 seconds to a minute in order to start up, so you're going to need to wait until the light on the control hub turns green. In the meantime, we're going to work on the fire tablet right now. The first step is to power on the fire tablet. You're going to hear the noise, and you're going to see the Amazon logo and the Fire logo. I did this by pressing this button on the top. Okay, so we can see that our Fire tablet has booted up. We also can see that now our control hub lights blink blue and green. So this means that it is fully booted up. Swipe up on the Fire tablet to unlock it. Right now, I have the FTC Driver Station app, but your app should look like the first global robot controller app. Open the app that says FG Driver Station. You should see a screen that looks like this. Click the dot 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 in the top right and hit Settings. Hit Pair with the Robot Controller and click Wi-Fi Settings. On your first global control hub, there should be a sticker telling you the Wi-Fi network name. But on our control hub, we don't have that sticker because we didn't buy it through a first global kit. Our control hub's Wi-Fi network name is first-n8wn. We could click on that Wi-Fi network and type the password in as password, all lowercase. Once we've typed in password, hit connect. Okay, now we've connected to the Wi-Fi network. One thing that I may say is that the internet service is not working. This is fine, as our control hub isn't gaping off a working Wi-Fi signal. It's just creating a Wi-Fi connection between your Fire tablet and the control hub. Click back once, and click back a few more times until you're back at this screen. I clicked it one too many times. Okay, now we're back at the screen, and one thing that you're going to notice is now we have a battery voltage indicator, which is in green, we have a ping time up here, which is changing, and we have a network name, which all means that we're connected up to the control hub. The last thing that we have to do is connect the game pads to the driver station. We're done with the control hub and expansion hub for now, so I'm going to move those off. Okay. So the first thing that you're going to need is the OTG cable that comes in the kit. The one thing to note about this OTG cable is it has a switch with charge and OTG. It might come in the position where it says charge, which would be up. So we need to make sure that it is down on the side that says OTG. We need to plug this into the top of the fire tablet. Okay. Now that that's plugged in, we can connect our gamepads to the driver station. 
I'm going to bring both of them on camera and connect their USBs into our OTG cable hub. When you plug them into the hub, there should be a faint purple light that turns on. This means that it is connected and there are not problems so far. In order to designate them as GamePad 1 and GamePad 2, we hold Start A and Start B. This one I want to be GamePad 1, so I'm going to hold the Start button and the A button. You can see that now on the driver station, it has a little GamePad icon up here for User 1, which means that we have correctly bound it. This one here, I'm going to click Start and B. Now, we have it designated as GamePad 2. One thing to note when doing this is that you shouldn't have pressed any other buttons or move the joysticks while you're pressing this. You should only be pressing the start button and the A button. Do not do it like this, where your joystick is down while you press start and A. Be very careful with this, as if you accidentally do touch the joystick when you press it, your robot may not work as functioned, as it should function. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment or email wizards.exe at gmail.com with any questions. Thank you.